नमो ब्रह्मा जो ब्रह्म विद्या संप्रदाय करते नमो गुरुभ्या सर्वोपक्लोहित प्रत्यागण प्रत्यगत ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मि ब्रह्मेवाहमस्मि नारायणं पद्मभौम वशिष्ठं शक्तिं च तत्पुत्रपराशरं च व्यासं शुक्रं गोळकुले महान्त ज्योतिरुपास्मे लास्ट पाठा विलुप्डी सूत्र संभोग प्राप्ति रीति चे न वैशेष्या इफ एट ऑल यू थिंक दैट बिकॉज ऑफ सर्वगत ऑफ आत्मा ब्रह्म परमात्मा देर वुड बी सुख दुख प्राप्ति दैट इज नॉट द केस बिकॉज योग्यत्म इज नॉट देर Paramatma by very nature is a bhokta, whereas jiva is bhokta. Therefore, sukha dukha is possible in the case of jiva, but not in the case of Paramatma. There need not be jadatum like akasha for a sarvagata tattva to not have sukha dukha bhoga. Now, continuing from there, kartrutva is kartrutva possible? That is being looked at. so in the next adhikaran which is atra adhikaranam atra adhikaranam atru atru is ada bhakshane ada bhakshane dhatu in the ada adhikaranam the first dhatu ada bhakshane so that dhatu will give you with trich pratyaya kartari trich pratyaya will give you at, atru and atru adhikaranam by sandhi will become atra adhikaranam it should be mm, atra adhikaranam yeah Yeah, there is a typo there. It should have. It should. There is no atra. It should be atra di karanam. Akara. There is a typo there. So I'll mark this anyway. So the sutra is the introduction. We look at puro yatha brahmano bhoktrutva bhava uktaha tatha kartrutva bhava eh brahmani iti drishtant sangatya idam aha. earlier what was said is that bhokta parmatma cannot be parmatma cannot be a bhokta now here can parmatma be a karta is analyzed and with the drishtanta examples given mantra examples what is shown is that parmatma cannot be karta also susutra so, is atta chara chara grahanat अत्ता चराचर ग्रहणात अत्ता चरा चर सो देर इज देर ओनली टू वर्ड्स यू आर ऑलरेडी स्प्लिट इन द सूत्र सो दी श्रुति व्हिच इज कोटेड हियर और विषय श्रुति व्हिच इज विषय इज कठ श्रुति यस्य ब्रह्म च क्षत्रं च उभे भवत ओदनः मृत्यु यस्य उपसेचनं क इत्था वेद यत्र सह so the katha mantra says that the brahma tattva the brahma tattva parmatma is atta the atma parmatma is atta atta means he is literally it means that he is bhojana karta because kartari trich pratyay is there so kartrutva has to be there see if you look at it here atta <coughs> can be 
कैन ऑल्सो बी सीन एज भोक्ता बिकॉज जनरली वील से भोजना इज भोग इज डिफरेंट भुज धातु इज सेम सो एक्सपीरियंसर बट दैट हैज ऑलरेडी बीन रिफ्यूटेड अर्लियर भोक्तृ भोक्तृत्व इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर परमात्मा नाउ वॉट इज बींग लुक्ड एट इज दैट अतृच प्रत्या विच इज एडेड देयर दैट इज इन कर्तरी सो इवन इफ यू से भोक्ता ऑल्सो यू कैन ऑल्सो से वाइल हैविंग भोजना यू कैन से भोजन कर्ता वन मे से हैड भोजन आई एम अ भोक्ता बट वन इज ऑल्सो ड्यूरिंग द कंजम्पन इट सेल्फ बाय डूइंग एन एक्शन दैट टाइम द पर्सन इज अ सब्जेक्ट ऑफ द एक्शन सो करता भोजन करता यू कैन से भोजन करता नॉट भोगता बट भोजन करता इन दैट सेंस इफ यू लुक एट द मंत्र यस्य ब्रह्मच क्षत्रंच उभे भवतः ओदन हा ब्रह्म इज ब्राह्मण देर क्षत्र इज क्षत्रिय यू सीन इन कथा आई डोंट थिंक एनी वन हियर हैज अटेंड इन द कथा सो यस्य ब्रह्मच क्षत्रंच ब्राह्मण एंड क्षत्रिय उभे बोथ आर ओदन हा ओदन इज कुकड राइस अन्नम सो फॉर विच तत्व फॉर विच एंटिटी ब्राह्मण एंड क्षत्रिय आर भोजन वॉट डज इट रियली मीन सो ब्राह्मण एंड क्षत्रिय आर उपलक्षण फॉर अदर वर्णाज ऑल्सो द वे फिगरेटिवली वी से दैट मृत्यु कंज्यूम्स एवरीथिंग सिमिलरली हियर एवरी वर्ण इज कंज्यूम्ड बाय परमात्मा यस्य दैट यत देर इज परमात्मा यस्य ब्रह्मण यस्य परमात्मन ब्रह्म च क्षत्र ब्राह्मण च क्षत्रिय जातो एक वचनम एंटायर स्पीशीज इज कवर्ड बोथ आर ओदन दे आर दि मेन डिश एज दो दिस इज एज दो इज नॉट लिटरल एंड दि कंज्यूमर ऑफ एवरीथिंग ईच एंड एवरी प्राणी नॉट ओनली ह्यूमन बींग्स ईच एंड एवरी प्राणी इज कंज्यूम बाय हूम मृत्यु यमदेव सो धर्म यमधर्मराज कंज्यूम्स एवरी वन एंड दैट यमराज इज अ सैड डिश फॉर दिस परमात्मा सो मृत्यु यस्य ब्रह्मण परमात्म उपसेचनम उपसेचन में लाइक अ पिकल और समथिंग एज अ सैड डिश और समथिंग एडेड टू दि मेन डिश फॉर टेस्ट जस्ट फॉर टेस्ट इत्था कह इत्था इत्थम एवं प्रकारण वेद वेद इज ऑप्शनल फॉर्म फॉर लटलकार इट्स अ लिट फॉर्म बट मींस वर्तमान काले यत्र सह यत्र सह आत्मा वन हु नोज दिस वेद विजानाति यत्र सह आत्मा इति सो इति हैज टू बी एडेड आत्मा डजंट नो वन हु नोज सह सह इज तत् कोरलेटिव फॉर यस्य यत् ब्रह्म सह आत्मा सो वन हु नोज दैट ब्रह्म दैट परमात्मा हु इज द कंज्यूमर ऑफ एवरीथिंग दैट्स व्हाट इट मींस रियली कंज्यूमर एंड इन विच वे कर्ता भोजन कर्ता और अत्र सो वन हु इज एन अत्ता इज अ कर्ता दैट परमात्मा कठमंत्र से सह यस्मिन विषय वन नोज एज वॉट नॉट परोक्षतया अपरोक्षतया आत्मा दैट इज आत्मा दैट आई एम बेसिकली सो इट इज लाइक अ इट इज अ महावाक्य नॉट लाइक इट इज अ महावाक्य इफ यू लुक एट सह आत्मा इज इन सह वॉट सह इज नॉट मेन्शन हियर इफ यू टेक आत्मा देन इट विल बिकम महावाक्य बिकॉज ब्रह्म यस्य दैट परमात्मा ब्रह्म नॉट दिस ब्रह्म ब्रह्म दिस ब्रह्म इज ब्राह्मण वर्ण एंड 
दैट वाई ब्रह्म एंड क्षत्र बिकॉज भगवान भाष्यकर ब्रह्म क्षत्रे सर्व धर्म विधार के दे आर वन हू होल्ड ऑल द धर्म सो दी फॉल ऑफ धर्म इज बिकॉज ऑफ ब्राह्मण एंड क्षत्रिय फॉल इट इज नॉट ड्यू टू वैश्य इज नॉट डूइंग देर धर्म बिकॉज ऑलमोस्ट एवरी वन हेज बिकम वैश्य एवरी वन इज आफ्टर मनी बिजनेस इज ट्राइंग टू सेटअप वेट फॉर अदर्स बट देन बिजनेस मैन एंड शूद्र आज एनी वे दे आर सर्विंग अदर्स वी आर ऑल सर्विंग अदर्स सो रियली वैश्य और शूद्र आज आर लेफ्ट इफ यू लुक एट just the main task that a person is doing in masses i am not talking about specifics if you follow your brahmana dharma unfortunately due to the not having state support varnashrama dharma has fallen but then if you are trying to do whatever is possible whatever is prescribed as nitya karma where we have adhikara left because adhikara itself is not there in all sorts of uh, karmas unless the kala provides it circumstances doesn't the circumstances do not provide we haven't done them therefore we have lost adhikara in nitya karma also we are not adhikaris in many nitya karmas only in some nitya karma sandhya ityadi adhikara is left for few people not for everyone adhikara itself has lost, been you know has vanished anyway that is an aside just to say that sarva dharma vidharaki those who hold sarva dharmas brahman and kshatriyas by upalakshana others are also covered they themselves are odana ha and sarva hara ha mrityu api even mrityu who takes away everyone's lives he himself is upasechana side dish for which brahma that brahma one who knows further the kata upanishad goes there but the vishay vakya here is kartrutvam atta because odana kar karta odana these are odana therefore he is bhojana karta therefore he is atta who parmatma so with this perspective the vishaya is quoted and puro pakshi says now that brahma is karta parmatma is karta so let's look at the vritti atta now atta what is the vritti saying the uh, sutra itself saying what you are saying this atta is paramatma so the atta is paramatma but not a karta how so chara chara grahanat so atta paramatma we say atta is brahma brahma is in samana adikaran athato brahma jignasa from that sutra brahma is in samana adikaran with atta brahma atta bhoti but not karta in that sense why chara chara grahana now again here the question is whether it is the context in which this sutra comes up is to refute kartrutvam but then kartrutvam also to refute kartrutvam also first you have to show how the kartrutvam idea came up and that kartrutvam idea where kathavalli says that yasya इत्था वेद सह वन हू नोज दैट मच इज मेन्शन देर वन हू नोज दिस कंज्यूमर दिस कर्ता हू दैट इज इज स्टील डिबेटेबल एज पर दी पूर्व पक्षी सो पूर्व पक्षी इज गोइंग टू से इज गोइंग टू आस्क हू इज दैट इज दैट द कंज्यूमर हू इज द कंज्यूमर रियली हू कंज्यूम इज एवरीथिंग दैट इज Also Agni, how so? Alam na vidyate asya anala ha. Another name for Agni is anala. Alam na vidyate. If you keep on feeding Agni, it will keep on consuming. Whatever you feed, it will keep on consuming. It will grow. The more the Agni consumes, the more it grows, and the more it wants. figuratively if you look at it if you personify agni then never never does agni say enough i have had enough so alam is enough but analam is in bahuri alam na vidyate yasya 
सह अनल हा वन हु डज नॉट हैव अ सेंस ऑफ इनफ सफिशियंसी इनफ दैट इज अग्नि ही बट यू एक्सटेंड एंड यू डोंट हैव टू पर्सोनिफाई अग्नि द पर्सोनिफाइड हु इज ऑलरेडी अ पर्सन जीव is also someone who does not say enough on no front does jeeva say enough let's say a person likes sweets one may consume say four five sweets at the sixth sweet feeling nauseatic for on the moment on the spur of the moment the jeeva may say enough but because that raga towards sweets is there he may not wait for the next day also so after a few hours again who oh, may i you know that was offered i may consume a little more i can i can therefore i should so alam na vidyate if you look at jeeva also alam na vidyate and if you look at the mantra proper and the bhashya there then it is paramatma because the question that nachiketa has asked is about paramatma jeeva and then jeeva is being taught as one with paramatma so that is the context in which yamaraja is giving the teaching also by saying that i myself mrityu i myself am upasechana for paramatma for jeeva jeeva cannot consume mrityu and since all of that has been mentioned chara and achara sentient and insentient so insentient consumption is possible but sentient cannot be consumed by anyone even figuratively if you want to mention it will not make sense in the in any context that an individual is consuming sentience sentience figuratively also and figuratively only sentience cannot be consumed otherwise but we are talking about sentient beings even you know those who consume i mean those who partake of literally partake of living beings they don't really consume living beings the the life goes away when they consume so before consume itself they the life is no longer there so it is dead meat just you know to make a point there so when charachara grahana is mentioned because of the khadya padartha is chara as well as achara achara is fine but chara charati that which moves around that is also consumed so you look at prana that is which moves around can also be prana who consumes prana so so many perspectives are possible i am just leaving it there as to achara grahanam may be possible for jeeva and agni but chara grahana won't be possible for anyone other than paramatma because chara are also life is given by paramatma prana is given by paramatma jeeva prana dharane therefore the jeeva being consumed cannot be by jeeva himself consumption cannot be by jeeva it has to be paramatma this is the perspective in which this sutra should be looked at as also the kartrutva which has come up so to say for paramatma no so atra puro pakshe agne he jeevasya va upasti and this is an upasana no as per puro pakshi so who is the upasya he says agni is upasya or jeeva is upasya because uh, even before the entire aikya is taught in kathavalli there the second question was also about agni upasana agni karma also and upasana also which got the name of nachiketa himself so there are panchagni panchagni upasana there are two are optional so tretagni so there are these three agnis in shrauta karma shrauta karma adhikara itself is almost gone 
there is no shrauta karma adhikara but if you look at shrauta karma which was done it was done in ahavaniya agni so there is garapatya uh, garapatya agni ahavani agni so these agnis are there there are three agnis two additional optional agnis are there which may or may not be maintained by the uh, or followed by those kind of uh, agnis need not be retained and karma related to those are optional for the grahastha but the three agnis are mandatory for a grahastha so panchagni upasana is also there karma is there and two being optional they are also treta agnis there are three agnis and these agnis together get the name of nachiketa because he is so so sharp he has being taught once he has received all that and he is able to follow it without any other guidance therefore yamaraja is impressed and he gives an additional boon he says that other than the three boons that i have offered for the three nights that you stayed hungry waiting for me as an atithi as a brahmana atithi that too so he says that if i don't serve you treat you the way you deserve to be treated even if you are a balaka still i will get pratyavaya dosha papa basically so to avoid that i give you three boons and then this is an additional boon so i'm just setting the context there so the agni karma was taught upasana was taught and the, the boon additional one that he gave all by himself being impressed is that he named that agni as nachiketa agni treta agni so can the discussion have continued about that agni itself is a samushaya that can be there from the puro parshis perspective therefore he says agni is what is being mentioned as a consumer because agni fits the context also now not only agni fits without the context now it with the context also agni fits in because consumer is agni consumes everything analaha and now you also have the context of agni karma upasana therefore in that upasana there agni can be the upasya therefore atra purva pakshe agni he upasyatvam upasti is upa upasya is upasana is agni upasana and upasya there is agni upasya devata or what jiva jiva can also be upasya because jiva also keeps on consuming everything he is bhojana karta adana karta so therefore jiva or agni is upasya siddhante nirvishesha brahma dhiriti phala bheda siddhanti says that kata upanishad context there is not at all of upasana let alone of agni upasana or jiva upasana there aikya is being taught and to teach aikya brahma is being taught first one may have all sorts of misunderstandings with tvam padartha jiva but tat padartha one cannot have misunderstanding because tat can be known only through shastra this swarup of tam is taught to be tat but then tom can be misunderstood because one has identification with various koshas therefore tom can be known in a wrong way also if it has to be known it can be known without the shruti and that is the case of everyone with or without any darshana also everyone has this understanding of who i am one may have a doubt also there but one cannot say that i don't know myself at all because as soon as someone asks who are you this person will answer i am with naam aur roopa he will identification he will say that i am this and this, my this is my name i am son or daughter of this person these are my parents whatever so the introduction starts with the job role everything 
देर फोर ईच एंड एवरी वन हेज अ क्लेम ओवर एंड अ से ओवर त्वम पदार्थ बट तत्पदार्थ वन नीड नॉट हैव एनी डाउट वन मे से आई डोंट बिलीव इन शास्त्र दैट्स अ डिफरेंट स्टोरी वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट नास्तिकाज बट आस्तिकाज वेर श्रद्धा इज देर देन शास्त्र इज दी ओनली प्रमाण फॉर तत्पदार्थ दैट तत्पदार्थ बींग शोन एज त्वम पदार्थ बाय तत्वसी इत्यादि महावाक्या फॉर दैट ऑल्सो शास्त्र इज ए प्रमाण बिकॉज इफ यू डोंट नो तत् त्वम बींग इक्वल टू तत् के नॉट बी अंडरस्टूड विदउट ए शास्त्र सो फॉर ऐक्या अद्वितीय तत्व शास्त्र इज ए ओनली प्रमाण and that is the context in kathavalli as to nachiketa claims what happens to the atma after final death not death as in you know this basically what happens in moksha when there is no janma what exactly happens what is that which leads to it so it's a very loaded question how to interpret it he leaves it to yamaraja and he is so sharp that he'll not let him go he will try to get exactly what he wants so here i mean you will not see anyone who is uh, unless you know it's a joke or something you know somebody who was given a boon and then he says my boon is that i want 100 more boons that is something else i mean that is that's laughable but what nachiketa did is that he defined his three boons very well when he asked for the f- boon where it seems like he is asking many things he qualified that at the end by saying all this is my single boon that i am asking that i that i have come to yamal yamaloka which means in the prithvi loka that nachiketa has died but it does not mean that he has died which is upasana shakti which is whatever samskaras he has had even as a balaka he is able to go to yamaloka in a very short time without taking that much time that it takes for a jeeva after death so what is he really capable of that is known in in the first question itself he says that when i return so from here that itself means that i should return it is not that having reached yamaloka there is no return no return in a sense no return in the same body so when i return means i should return first part of that boon when i return my father should look at me with this same sneha that he had earlier meaning he should not be kruddha he should not be angered he should not be angry with me that means the father should look at the son as the son having gone so far and having come back across lokas that journey will take scientifically also you look at it if such kind of an assumption is there of loka planetary assumption also then the the more you travel away then more time that is consumed thereby one will have aged the aging may be less but there will be aging so when you come back you will have the so many years have would have passed from the earth's perspective there the father should be there he should look at nachiketa as as nachiketa as a son and not be angered so much is there in just by saying that when i return my father should not be angry with me so etc i am just showing you that the teaching is based on the qualification of the adhikari so nachiketa is that kind of a student where yamaraja is so impressed that he wants to finally give everything that he knows so aikya is the vishaya here brahmadhi is the vishaya there nirvishesha brahmadhi the nirguna brahma is the subject matter which is taught with upadhis with karma upasana earlier in the second question but in the third question answer when he reaches there so anyway i was just saying that all that is one question he says all that is one question so now he and let him sleep well all that is there in, in the question i just wanted to show that adhikari is that kind of an adhikari the question is being answered finally although 
some options are given to tempt Nachiketa. He was not tempted. And then finally, the question regarding Atma was answered as the third question. It was answered by Yamaraja. And in that context, when you look at this mantra, it is Brahmadhi. What is being taught is not even Brahma Upasana, let alone Agni or Jiva Upasana, says the Siddhanti. So, Kathavalli mantra we had already seen. Kathavalli shu shruyate yasya brahma chakshatrancho ubhe bhavata odana ha ityadi. We have seen the mantra. Tatra odana upasana, uh, sorry, tatra odana upasechana suchita ha kaschid atta pratiyate. Atta is bhojana karta, somebody who is consuming and bhojana is bhoga, bhoga there, not bhojana literally eating, but the these, there is a subject to cons consuming them. Who is the cons consumer of them? So he is a karta, atta pratiyate. Suchita, because what has been said is that ube, ube bhavataha odanha and mrityu yasya upasechanam bhavati. So mrityu mrit, upasechanam bhavati and ube odanaha bhavataha. That there is, there are two which are part of a main dish and one is a side dish. For whom? That for whom is lost on the Puro Pakshi. He is focusing on Kartrutvam there, which is Suchita. So if they are the main dish, for whom are they the main dish? Therefore, suchitaha kaschid atta, there is some karta. Just because there is side dish for someone, you will have to. That itself become a reason to land on kartrutvam somewhere. Some karta is there. So, kaschid atta pratiyate, bhojana karta. Now, who is that? Saha kim agni hi. Because if you look at the mantra itself, you will see bhoga. But, what is being said is not bhoga there. What is being looked at is suchita karta. Who is that when one consumes, consumes something, one, when one eats something also or experiences something, there is a karta. That karta has to be there and who is that? That is the charcha. Therefore, sa kim agni hi utaha jivaha uta, utaho utaho paramatma iti vishaye. When that samshaya is there, that karta can be anyone. Can it be Jiva or Agni, the way we looked at? Or can it be Paramatma? Who is it really? Agni Jiva with the Pura Paksha. So Pura Paksha says it can be Agni also, Jiva also. Both are, you know, Bhojana Karta. So Bhojana there is not, uh, Bhojana is consuming there. So those who are experiencer, who is the one who is Karta of eating itself, the Karma of eating. Eating is Karma of experiencing also you say, but if you say experiencers, our understanding is bhoktruttam, there bhokta. But I want to show you the kartruttam, which is the context here. And therefore, the Agni and Jiva are two possibilities as per Purva Pakshi and he is okay with either. He is okay with both also simultaneously. He says both are Atta. Siddhantastu Paramatma Evatta. Siddhanti says it is not so Paramatma. Alone can be Atta. Agni and Jiva cannot be Atta. Why? Kutaha, chara chara grana, because chara and achara both are mentioned there. You look up, there is chara also, not only achara. So achara can become bhojana, bhojana karma, but chara cannot become bhojana karma. But it is mentioned, therefore you have to look at a possibility of such kind of a karta who can consume chara. Chara means sentient. Chara chara yo ho, stavara jangama yo ho, adyatvena asmin vakke grahanat shravanat. Grahana is shravana there. Since you hear this mantra talking about chara grahana, achara grahana is fine, achara grahana is there, but then focus is on chara grahana. Adyatvena is, adya here is khadyatvena. Adya does not mean the Adho bhava adhya, but it is with uh, 
ad dhatu ad bhakshane dhatu itself bhakshane is meaning there bhojana so ad to ad uh, ad is halant dhatu so rihalor nyat those who have studied vyakarana rihalor nyat nyat will be added it will cause um, it will cause uh, this atopadaya ha vriddhi and then you will get ad ad plus y adya so adya is karmani vitpatti from ad ad bhakshane dhatu so it means karma of eating so it is that which is is all also yogyata also arhatvam so therefore it is fit to be consumed it is that which is fit to be consumed that which is consumed that is the meaning of adya and tasya bhava adyatva tena adyatvena adyatvena asmin vakye grahana charvana since chara also along with achara is said to be fit to be consumed or that which is consumed by whom can it be consumed it is fit to be consumed meaning it is fit to be consumed for what kind of an entity that entity should be the karta not anyone who cannot have chara as bhojana therefore karta has to be paramatma says the siddhanti nahi paramatmanam nahi paramatmanam sarva samhartam sam sorry sarva samhartaram so let me lost today just give me a moment here i miss something here yeah i'll just uh, come back to that i'll finish this and i'll come back to that nahi paramatmanam सर्व सर्वसंहारम ऋते ऋते संहारम सो अदर देन परमात्मा अन्य से कस्यचि चराचर अतृत्व न संभवती दिस न विल गो विथ संभवती सो इट इज नॉट पॉसिबल इट जस्ट नॉट पॉसिबल इट इज इम्पॉसिबल अदर देन परमात्मा टू बी द कंज्यूमर ऑफ मृत्यु ऑल्सो सो ये मृत्यु हैज बीन सेड एज उपसेचना सो सर्व संहर्तारम ऋते वन हु कंज्यूम्स मृत्यु ऑल्सो दैट हैज टू बी हैज टू बी परमात्मा बिकॉज़ चर ग्रहण इज नॉट पॉसिबल चर भोजन इज नॉट पॉसिबल फॉर एनी वन अदर देन परमात्मा सो दैट इज द वृत्ति देयर आई जस्ट वांट टू टॉक अबाउट अग्नि ऑल्सो आई एक्सप्लेन इन वन वे but there is another way as to why agni hi is a possibility i explain as alam na vidyate and consumer but then brahadarnaka mantra says that there is a brahat mantra itself if there is an argument with the puro pakshi puro pakshi will quote a mantra so there is a brahat mantra which says agni rannadaha so anna adana is adana अजन कर्ता इज अग्नि ही देर इज अ बृहत मंत्र विच इज दैट अग्नि इज दि अत्ता देर फोर अग्नि इज दि मीनिंग ऑफ दि कर्ता ऑफ अचर ही इज लुकेट अचर चरा इज गिवन एज अ हेतु बाय दि चरा अदन इज गिवन एज अ हेतु बाय दी सिद्धांती बट दी पूर्व पक्षी इज लुकिंग एट दी कोटेशन फ्रॉम कथा एज ऑल दीज आर पुट टुगेदर ओदन दैट्स ऑल ओदन और उपसेचन एंड देन दैट अन्न कर अन्न अन्न अन्नाद अन्नाद देर इज वन हु इज दी कर्ता ऑफ ईटिंग अन्न I am specifically saying karta not bhokta. Karta of eating anna is agni hi. As per Brahma mantra also, therefore agni is a possibility here, and that is the only possibility other than jiva. Jiva is known anyway. Jiva is known. Why? How is jiva known? Siddhanti says jiva. How do you how do you misunderstand it to be jiva? Because jiva is not going to be a consumer here. Uh, the consumption karta. he is not going to be the subject of consumption agent of that action of consuming so for that the puro pakshi has another mantra he says mundaka mantra is there tayoranya pippalam swadvatti 
सो अतीज अगेन अदन करता दे भोजन करता दैट भोजन करता इज जीवा बिकॉज मुंडा का मंत्र इज देर मुंडा का मंत्र सेज दैट देर आर टू टू बर्ड्स द सिमिली ऑफ टू बर्ड्स इज गिवन वन इज अ करता ऑफ अदन मीनिंग ईटिंग एंड द अदर जस्ट वॉच इज ओवर अदर जस्ट वॉच इज ओवर so who who is that other that other is paramatma who is watching over he is not the karta of consumption he is not one who is eating so who is eating jiva is eating that you can look up in mundaka says the puro pakshi this is where the puro pakshi says that agni hi by brahat mantra not only by i mean laukika if you don't see as to agni consumes everything and you don't see jeeva as you know craving for all sorts of consumptions and is the one who is the agent of eating then he says i'll give you shastriya example i'll give you vedanta itself i'll give you upanishad mantras so brahat mantra will prove agni and mundaka mantra will prove jeeva as the karta of eating therefore there is no question about who is the upasya here says the puro pakshi so i just missed that i wanted to mention that also this kartrutva abhava which was mentioned here there kartrutva abhava is being is shown here by samhara kartrutva abhava so that will be looked up as in when you are saying that sarva this kartrutva which you are seeing without that also he is the one who is karta of eating me without kartrutva bhava he is the karta why because it is as per their own prarabdha the prarabdha phala is being given otherwise there can be a question as to where is kartrutva bhava shown kartrutva is being shown so what is being said is that this mrityu also plays the role based on dependency on that satchidananda padartha which is paramatma and thereby chara chara grahana although chara is possible only for paramatma chara grahana here grahana is shravana but chara grahana when i mean i mean chara adana rather so chara adana bhojana is possible only if it will apply only to paramatma it cannot apply to anyone else although that is so still he is not the karta because kartrutva again same thing you can extend here bhuktrutva was possible because for jiva but not for parmatma because yogyatvam was lacking yogyatvam is lacking here also parmatma is not having avidya therefore he cannot have kartrutvam kartrutva is possible only with that avidya kama karma triad this karma is not really karma it is attributed to ishvara because we see all these are real therefore we you know do you superimpose that kartrutvam on ishvara but really what is the siddhanta nirvishesha brahma so that nirvishesha brahma will show kartrutvam is not there because he is not jagat karta itself let, let alone ashana karta adana karta nirguna brahma nirvishesha brahma where is the possibility of kartrutvam at all so that is mentioned here it will come up again it will come up but then uh, we have to see it in that manner further itascha paramatma eva atta ityah now atta is paramatma continuing atta is paramatma kartrutva bhava in the context it has not come up yet and it will come up throughout the brahma sutra all that will be shown but then here paramatma is the atta to refute agni as atta and then jiva as atta paramatma is shown and established as atta chara chara grahana now this is another reason why paramatma is atta prakarana cha prakarana cha because that is the context we have looked at the context anyway but that is the context what is the context how do you know that that is the context paramatma so you have to go back you have to go back you have to go further you have to look at 
the context, you have to do Tatpare Nishchaya of the context also, based on context. So the mantra which was quoted as Vishayavakya in the earlier sutra was the 25th sutra in 1.2 of Kata Upanishad. So the first chapter, second valli, 25th mantra was quoted as Yasya Brahma Cha Kshatram Cha Ubhaya Bhavate Bhavata Odanaha Ityadi. Now if you look at the prakarna, you have to go a little back and if you see the 18th mantra, few mantras back, what was it saying? Na jayate mriyate va vipaschit Nayam kutas chinna babu vakaschit Ajo nitya shashutoyam puranaha Na hanyate hanyam ane sharire That is neither agni nor jiva Na hanyate hanyam ane sharire is not agni It can be the It cannot be agni devata It cannot be literally agni It cannot be agni devata It cannot be Anyone other than non-individualized Paramatma. It has to be Paramatma, not Jeeva Atma or Devata Atma or whatever you have. None of those will fit in because Na Hanyate Sharire Hanyamane Sati Yaha Na Hanyate Saha Kaha Paramatma Yo Bhavitum Arhati Has to be Paramatma. And na jayate mriyate va. Agni comes up and goes. You can bring up Agni and Agni can go away. But if you say Agni is still there as Devata, oh Devata Roop also, Kalpante will have Nasha, so to say. But the Atma Tattva, which is all pervasive in Agni Devata also, in Nachiketa also, in Yamaraja also, that is the context of the question, third question, that is the context of the teaching also. That has to be Paramatma Brahma, Nirvishesha Brahma and Aja. Kutaschinna Babu, so it has not, Ayam Atma has not come up from something and therefore not Agantuka is Aja Tattva, Aja Ha, Nitya Ha, Shashvata, Ayam Purana, Pura Api Navaha is old, how old? Anadi Kala has been there from Anadi Kala. Anadi Kalena Vartate Asti. And even then has not aged. Therefore, Navahapi is also new. Is as brand new as it was ever. So that unaging Anadi Tattva can be only Paramatma. It cannot be Jiva. It cannot be Agnihi. Therefore, the Prakarna continues in the 25th mantra also, you know, in the same context where it has been said, na jayate mriyate va vipaschitu ityadina paramatma naha prakarana. The prakarana is paramatma. And that context section is continuing through and through. And here you don't have to say through and through because it is the very same valli itself. So, Prakarana is Prakrutatva. Since the context has been set, Ka Itha Veda Yatra Saha Iti, what you are looking at, who knows this? It is, it is looked at Kaimati Kanyaya. Who can know this? One who has Adhikara by Shamadi Shatka Sampati as part of Sadhana Chaturthe Sampati, who is Sadhana Chaturthe Sampannaha Mumukshuhu. In this manner, who knows? Who knows this? So, Saha Veda, if you look at it, Kaha Veda, Saha Veda. Multiple ways to look at it. I am just saying one possibility. So, Kaha Veda, Saha Veda. One, who knows this? Only that person knows. That person who is capable, first, you know, who can know this? So, Kaha Veda, can we look at Kim? Ka is Pullinga of Eka Vachana, Prathama Eka Vachana of Kim. So Kaimutika Nyayana you can say Kaha Veda. Who can know this? And then Saha Veda, whoever, Kaschidhira, therefore in the, in, in the, elsewhere in the same Upanishad, Kaschidhira, one among so many, someone. 
ಇನ್ ಕನ್ನಡ ತಿಳಿಸಿ ಯಾರೋ ಒಬ್ಬ ಸೊ ಸಮ್ ಯುನೋ ಸಮ್ ರೇರ್ ಎಂಟಿಟಿ ವಿಲ್ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ನಚಿಕೇತ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ದಟ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಇಸ್ ಗಿವನ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವಿಂಗ್ ಗಿವನ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ಈಸ್ ಯು ಟು ಕ್ವಾಲಿಫೈ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇನ್ ಟೂ ಡೇಸ್ ಡಿ ಅನ್ ಅನ್ಫಾರ್ಚುನೇಟ್ಲಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಅವೈಲೇಬಲ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ವಿಕಿಪೀಡಿಯಾ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ಸೊ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ತತ್ವ ಮಸಿ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಸೇ ಅಹಂ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಾಸ್ಮಿ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಹಿಡನ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಸ್ ವಿ ಸಾ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಓಪನ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಪ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಆಲ್ ದೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅನ್ ಓಪನ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಕೆಪ್ ಸೀಕ್ರೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಉಪನಿಷತ್ ಇಸ್ ರಹಸ್ಯಂ ಈವನ್ ಇಫ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಓಪನ್ ಟು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಅಲೋನ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೋ ನಾವು ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಬಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರಿತ್ವಮ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ಮೋಕ್ಷ ಮೀನಿ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ನಾಟ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅಧಿಕಾರ ಇನ್ ಆನಂದ ತತ್ವ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ಇಸ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆನಂದ ತತ್ವ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ವಿ ಆಲ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆನಂದ ತತ್ವ ನಿತ್ಯ ತತ್ವ ಸತ್ ತತ್ವ ನೋ ಬಡಿ ವಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಸೇ ದಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಯು ನೋ ಐ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಫಿಗರೇಟಿವ್ ಯೂಸ್ ಇಟ್ even a suicidal person is making a figurative use because what it means is that i don't want this dukkha anymore given happiness everyone wants it and everyone wants to live so sat tatva is there ananda tatva is sought after sat is also sought after what is soft sought after is really one's nature and to give a i mean i uh, i mentioned this example uh, in the other classes also earlier i have mentioned this it it is not so tasteful but then it drives home the point the comparison is not really good but then to drive home the point to say that you know just look at a dog's tail you put a pipe around it for many years also it will not straighten the dog's tail will always want to go its natural state because it is not comfortable the dog is not comfortable because the tail the tail in that position is not comfortable as a part also dog is not com- comfortable with the tail being any which way but in the natural curved position it wants the tail to be so so always the tail wants to go back you remove the pipe after how many ever years the tail will go back i mean the pipe which you have in which the tail has been put you know, just hypothetically you take that case suppose it is done but we know that the tail will go back it will not straighten it will go back and with that now you apply that to whatever you go back that is your nature because you want to go back to your nature everything in nature nat- whatever is natural state that is where the entire nature is tuned towards it wants to go back there so we also by very nature want to go swabhava vastu pravartate is laukika but if you look at swarupa as a meaning of swabhava we want to go back to our own swarupa go back in the sense again praptasya prapti jnanena we want to go back to what we are that's where we are naturally happy so since all of us want to be happy that is our natural state so by tarka you know that ananda is sought after by everyone because anything other than ananda we are at anis so ananda has to be our swarupa in another way you know in sanskrit in ayurveda we say swasthyam swasmin tishtati iti swastah tasya bhava swasthyam so one who is in one's own natural state is swastah that is health so one who has that is healthy a healthy person so one who has health what is that health to be in your own natural state and in ayurveda also every disease this is what not being at ease this is you are at you have disease when you are not at ease which is when you are not in your natural state which is your ananda swarupa so everything else is disease so ayurveda also says that first you treat all your physical diseases mental diseases and finally you de- treat the ultimate disease which is the goal of ayurveda also as vedanga shastra says you treat the janma marana as disease bhava roga is bhava roga samsarana so natural state is your own swarupa ananda so 
तो कहा वेद हु विल नो वन रेयर एंटिटी दैट अमोंग मेनी दैट रेयर एंटिटी वुड नो सो यत्र सह वेद इति दुर्विज्ञत्व रूप असाधारण लिंगाच्च इत्यर्थ दुर्विज्ञम इज शोन देयर बाय किम यूजेज देयर क इत्था वेद दे सी बिकॉज यथ हैज ऑलरेडी बीन यूज्ड एज यस्य यस्य ब्रह्मचक्षत्रम च यत्र ब्रह्मचक्षत्रं च उभे भवतः ओदनः बाय यत declined as yes here yet is covered you just need tat in saha but what is kim doing in between grammatically also if you look at it yat and tat would have driven home the point because relative yat expects a correlative tat both are there what is kim doing in between kim is showing that kaitha ved by that kim upanishad want to show durvidnyatva says bhagwan bhashyakara there and then durvidnyatva here vritti also says that so vritti says that durvidnyatva roopa asadharana lingaach by kim in the sentence kaha durvidnyatvam dukhena vidnyatvam dukhena vidnyah dukha vidnyah durvidnyah and then tasya bhava durvidnyatvam what is being shown is that it is very by great difficulty this paramatma tatva can be known its real nature can be known only with great difficulty by some rare entity that's what it means durvignyatva roopa asadharana linga this is asadharana this is not something which is sadharana you look at it you can land on everyone who has bhojana as sadharana but asadharana chara चरा ग्रहण ऑल्सो दैट इज असाधारण देर इट कैन बी ओनली ब्रह्म एंड न जायते मृयते वा विपश्चित दिस इज असाधारण इट इज नॉट कॉमन टू एवरीथिंग इट इज असाधारण टू परमात्मा आत्मा शरीर इज बॉर्न शरीर डाइज अवे प्राण ऑल शरीर यू लुक एट एनी कोशा ऑल कोशा आर बॉर्न एंड दे डाय वी कैन से सूक्ष्म शरीर डज नॉट डाय कारण शरीर बहु दूर इट डेफिनेटली कारण शरीर डज नॉट डाय वी कैन से दैट बट ज्ञान नाश अविद्यानाश इज थ्रू विद्या विद्या नाश अज्ञान गोज अवे बाय ज्ञान देर फॉर कारण शरीर विच इज विच वॉट इज कारण स्वरू कारण शरीर अविद्या अविद्या कारण शरीर शरीर सो अविद्या कारण शरीर दैट अविद्या विल गो बाय विद्या सो नाश विल टेक् प्लेस and sukshma sharira does not die at the death of the body it is in bija roopa in karana it is in bija roopa it continues across bodies but then it will also have an end when avidya goes away sukshma sharira will wither away into its its own karana therefore na jayate mriyate va is applicable only to paramatma asadharana linga ityartha so that is prakranach context also shows atta can only be paramatma purvam brahma kshatra padasya mrutyu pada sanidhyat anitya vastu paratvad iha api pibachabda pibachabdasya sannihita guha praveshadina buddhi kshetrajna paratvamastu iti drishtant sangatya idam arha so i'm trying to slow down but i have trouble in uh, reading because it is against my natural uh, swabhava so if i slow down reading i make mistakes so it's uh, each one has uh, their own uh, issues so <laughs> i'm trying to slow down but slowing down has other issues as well so making anvaya also is a little tricky if you uh, you know go different to your speed however that is सो नहीं पूर्व ब्रह्म क्षत्र पद से मृत्यु पद सानिध्या सिंस मृत्यु पद वॉज मेन्शन देर मृत्यु इज ऑलो कंज्यूम्ड अलॉंग विथ ब्रह्म एंड क्षत्र मृत्यु वॉज मेन्शन सो ब्राह्मण क्षत्रिय एंड मृत्यु ऑल थ्री आर टुगेदर दे हैव प्रॉक्सिमिटी ड्यू टू दैट वॉट सानिध्या अनित्य वस्तुपरत्व वध Iha api just like this anitya vastu all these are anitya. 
Vibhat Shabda is being used in another mantra. Rutam Pivanto Sukrata Siloke. So there is other mantra where we we'll look at, says the Puro Pakshi, there Pibat Shabda has been used. Pibat Shabda Sya Sannihita Guha Pravesha. Guha Pravesha has been used. So that which has entered in a cave or cave like place. And Pibat Shabda is used there. So again, Kartruto Bhojana. Asana, Pibat. There is Sanidhyam, there is proximity with Guha Pravesha. So Pibat Shabda and Guha Pravesha, they occur in us, in a, in a sentence where there is proximity of these two words. Therefore, Buddhi Kshetrajna Paratvamastu. Iti Drishtanta Sangatya Idamaha. So Drishtanta is given as to Rutam Pibanto Sukrata Siloke Ityadi. That mantra there Pibanto has been mentioned. There are two, which we looked at in the earlier context because we interpreted Jiva from Puropakshi's perspective, Upase Jiva in the Katha mantra. Why? Because that Jiva is, is one who is Adana Karta, one who is Bhojana Karta. And that karta is mentioned in Mundaka to be Jiva, not Paramatma. So there we saw as to the Tayuranya Pippalam Swadvati. Now, Rutam Pibantu, this is a uh, this is the context of the mantra there. Rutam Pibantu Sukrata uh, Loke. Yeah, so Rutam Pibantu, you see Rutam Sukrata Loke, Ityadi. That mantra is the Vishya and uh, we are already gone beyond time. Uh, I'll discuss this in the next part. Huh? So we'll look at this in the next part. Huh? There, again, in Mundaka context we have seen, but in Katha also it is going to come up, says the Puro Pakshi. What you are talking about, Prakarna, Prakrutatvat, Prakarnat, Prakarnacha. He says, I'll show you further in the Further in the Upanishad, Katha Upanishad itself, you don't have to go as far as Mundaka. In Katha Upanishad also, I'll show you as to there can be difference in the way you are looking at things and the way I am interpreting this, I can show you some difference there in Katha Upanishad itself. So he is going to quote a mantra, Rutam Pibantu Sukrata Siloke. There the Piban, pip, the Piban Shabda there. Pibat Shabda, Shatranta Pada. I'll show you there is Sanidya there and thereby how it will go against your interpretation. What exactly is the discussion? We'll see in the next part. Huh? But he is saying, although I quoted Mundaka where that Pippalam Swadvati, so there Adana is shown, this Pivat also shows the Adana Karta, which is going to come up in the same Upanishad. And we'll see as to what that means, how it goes against your interpretation as to buddhi binna jiva jnanam. So when you're saying that it is different from atma, agnihi, jiva, this paramatma is different because mrityu is being quoted and brahma kshatra are quoted, this paramatma stands out. Okay, stands out is all right. Now, there is someone who stands out from something which is mentioned in that mantra. He says that what that is from which he stands out. You don't have to go as far as Paramatma. It can be Jiva also. So, what he is saying is to set the context and we will look at it in the next uh, uh, Patha. Buddhi Bhinna. So, different from Buddhi. Need not be Paramatma, it can be Jiva also. So, Buddhi Bhinna has to be Paramatma is a claim that you are making that won't fit in in the Katha Upanishad itself. Buddhi Bhinna is being the topic. 
बुद्धि बिन्न बीइंग द टॉपिक कैन बी जीवा आल्सो सब्जेक्ट मैटर कैन बी जीवा विषय नीड नॉट बी परमात्मा इट कैन बी जीवा आल्सो सो पूर्व पक्षी इज टेकिंग दिस प्रकरण एज दि सूत्र शोइंग फ्रॉम दि सिद्धांत इज परस्पेक्टिव एज परमात्मा इज दि सब्जेक्ट मैटर कॉन्टेक्स्ट देर he is taking that and saying no need not be why because bhinnatvam is being shown as in one who is so his perspective if you look at it what would be his thought chain i'm just trying to land on the sutra as to sutra is a flow so how do you get on this flow so you have to look at that flow flow also here the uh, sutra sangati just says that पूर्व ब्रह्म क्षत्र पद से मृत्यु पद सानिध्यास्तु पर सन्नीत गुहा प्रवेशादि बुद्धि क्षेत्र परत्वस्तु दृष्टांत संगत पर वाट आर दे एक्चुअली शोइंग सो मृत्यु पद सानिध्यास्तु पर जस्ट बिकॉज मृत्यु पद से मृत्यु इज कंज्यूमर and mrityu consumes is brahma kshatra so there will be anityatvam for them so anityatva paratvam everything other than paramatma is anitya the consumer of chara chara is paramatma only and everything other than paramatma is anitya this is how the thinking has come up and therefore you have to set the context so context is what context is everything other than paramatma is anitya because ajonitya shashvato ayam purana this part is not quoted in the vritti but you have to look up that with that with that context you have to see the sangati with that uh, in mind you have to look at the sangati so sangati does not make complete sense nityatvam was shown for paramatma everything else is anitya and that is his claim mrityu pada sanidhyad anitya vastu paratvavad so this ajonitya shashvata should be looked at in the mrityu मृत्यु से उपसेचन सो मृत्यु विल इंडिकेट एवरी एवरीथिंग एल्स टू बी अनित्य मृत्यु इज कंज्यूमिंग एवरी अनित्य एंड मृत्यु इट्स इज कंज्यूम बाय परमात्मा सो अनित्यत्व इज बीइंग शोन इन दैट कॉन्टेक्स्ट बिकॉज इट स्टार्टेड विथ अजोनित्य शाश्वत एम पुराण एंड एवरीथिंग एल्स इज अनित्य एंड दैट अनित्य इज कंज्यूम बाय मृत्यु when you go to 25th mantra from 18 you see mrityu is consuming everything which is anitya and mrityu is being consumed by paramatma you set up the context says the puro pakshi also and siddhanti says is anityatvam okay anityatvam is there now pibat shabda sanidhi sanidhi is there sanidhyam is there with what guha pravesha therefore guha pravesha and pibat pibat is one who is drinking so when he is one who is you know consuming again we'll just take consuming right now we'll see more in the next part ha, but i just want to explain how this is coming up so pibat shabda sani shabdasya sani sannihita guha pravesha adina guha pravesha is mentioned and pibat so if you look at just bhokta karta kind of an entity and guha entering a cave so what is that cave cave is buddhi and kshetrajna is pibat there so buddhi kshetrajna this is the difference between them and this section is committed to that buddhi kshetrajna so buddhi is one and kshetrajna is another therefore when there are two pibantau there one who is consuming is buddhi one who is watching over in mundaka context also similar thing is there in katopanishad so this kathopanishad also where one is separate from the other there are two rutam pribanto who is mentioned there are two that divachana in that who is one who is the other there jiva is one the other is paramatma as per the siddhanti puro pakshi says it need not be so where do you have the need to go as far as paramatma one is buddhi the other is jiva so jiva paratvam so when he says buddhi kshetrajna paratvam he means jiva paratvam in the end one is buddhi the other is jiva so the teaching is of jiva not of paramatma so i hope you get the idea it was a little uh, tricky as to how this sangati works 
it will be clear when we look at the uh, sutra and the vishaya we'll come back and see this if it is a little complex but uh, this is how i see the sangati coming up otherwise the sangati is a little tricky to see uh, in in the kartrutva abhava this is a little difficult uh, sangati so we'll see more in the next part ha huh? ಆನಂದಘನಮಹಾಪೂರ್ಣಮಾತ್ಮಜ್ಯೋತಿರುಪಾಸ್ಮಹೆ